Hello everybody, this is Excalibur of Excalibur's Minecraft. I'm on the Madi Wodo server, and uh, I've got a cockroach on my desk. Hooray! Um, yeah, he wants to see what's going on too. In any case, uh, I'm here with uh, Swedish Kings, who is currently making some uh, materials for us to look at uh, building a, a maintenance shaft down into a, a zombie spawner. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to put on my helmet. Oh, I can just right click there. And uh, we'll get the shenanigans underway. Alright, I got the piston. Um... And uh, go ahead and say hi there, Swedish Kings. I don't know if uh, you'll show up or not, but. Or if uh, <laughs> if anybody will hear you or not. It could be one sided. I've never recorded with Skype before on uh, one of my videos, so we'll have to see how that turns out. Okay, maintenance shaft is going to go back here behind, well, how about I go ahead and uh, throw down a torch first? Should yeah, I'll throw down all the stuff down the shaft, because I'm lazy. Alright. All right. Okay, so here we are. We've got stuff coming down. <laughs> Alright, there's Swedish games up there. Um, this is our zombie spawner area. We've got... Uh, an enchanting area, which I can finally use up these 20 levels properly. Uh, this is where the zombies come up, and they drop over here. Uh, one of the issues, if you look here at the entity count, there's only like 22 or so. Looks like zombies are competing to actually get in here, and our uh, spawn rate down, is, down in the dungeon is kind of low. Hello, Swedish. Hello. Building a sign. So... What we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a little bit of a test. I'm going to make a lever. We're going to see if what I've already probably figured is true or not. We're going to power this piston. Is it going to? It cannot move that because this has a permanent inventory slot. So we can't move this, but we can move that, and we can move that. Uh, what I was thinking about. Um, do uh, you want me to call you Kings? Is that all right? Whatever works for you. Okay. Okay, Kings. Um, <laughs> what I was thinking about is uh, instead of putting it way back there, but uh, uh, we could put it over here and move stuff out of the way. But I, I think it's probably best to put our sticky pistons right here. Um and then pull these wooden blocks out of the way so we can walk back here. Alright. Uh, so do you have any uh, um, stone brick that we can lay for a floor so it looks pretty? Or do you want to do that later? Um, I'll smelt some cobble right now. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, clear up this part here. Uh, we need to go down and figure out what's going on, why it's being such a pain in the butt... So, uh, let's see here. And of course, I don't have the materials I need. Hooray! There we go. And sticky and sticky. I'm going to go here and power both of them because you can do that with one lever. Let's see if this works. Yep, there we go. And pull them back. Hello! Hello. Where'd you go? There you are. Yeah. So here we go. This is what I was thinking. We could go ahead and put this maintenance shaft door right there. And then we just have a a lever or a switch that allow oh, sorry. No problem. <laughs> that allows us to do that. We can make it secret if you want to. Now how would we make it secret, do you ask? Well, you put a picture or something right here and a pressure plate. That would power both the pistons, and you just throw stuff in, let it land on the pressure plate, and then when you uh, go through on the other side, you just pick it up on the pressure from the pressure plate. It can be secret, or we could just have a giant sign right here saying maintenance. Okay, let's make it non-secret. No big deal. So I'm going to grab these and make the at least four stone floorings. There we go. I'll throw dirt under there. We don't care about that. Alright. 
So what we want is we want a button here that will power stuff this way. So I'm going to go back through here. Uh, we're going to put, and I don't like putting on dirt. Let's go ahead That's and just. About it. This is pretty good target practice. Yep. Oh. I don't got no arrows. I'm poor. Oh boy, I've got 18 just from killing uh, skeletons and then running around and picking up junk that skeletons have dropped <laughs> when they die. A skeleton farm would be useful if I could find a spawner. Yeah, that's a trick. That's a trick. Because then I could have unlimited arrows. So here's a... I'm going to throw you the, the furnace to put back at the bottom part there. I already made one. Well, no, that's that's a furnace that I took from there. I know, I made another one. And uh, what block was up top here? Was that a cobblestone block? Uh, cobblestone along the middle, dark wood uh, on the bottom. Okay, so go ahead and uh, put the cobblestone back there and put a button. It doesn't matter. Um, or better yet, a lever would be best. I've got a lever right here, actually. Let me grab that lever. And uh, we'll put that lever in there. I'm going to need to make one redstone. So like that. Torch. Oh yeah. Because uh, go ahead and flick the lever. All right, excellent. Um, what I want to do is uh, power both of these dudes at the same time, and yeah. uh, by putting a torch right in here. I'm going to make it look nice. May as well, right? Okay, it should be off. Now, if you go and you power that lever, let's see what happens. Alrighty. Or flip the lever to the off position or whatnot. Okay, so that is on, but it's not powering those directly. I thought as much. Um, hmm, how to do it, how to do it. All right. We're going to do it this way. Huh. Here's more stone bricks. Alright, so let's... There's one... Oh lord, that hurt. <laughs> oh, wait a second, were you walking right back there? <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. What happened was uh, the, uh, the redstone dust um, went into a... a Torch like, burnout clock. They're going in different directions. Like, yeah, it, that's gonna happen. It it went into a, a burnout. So I'm going to uh, figure out a way to get these powered properly. Um, you don't want that there. Let's grab this. I'll put this here. This this. And then I got to go out one more, darn it. There we go. That will work. Pow. Go like this. All right. Right into there. And then we have this here. Try it now. All right, got to move it up one. No biggie. So we just break that, break that. Yeah, redstoning with Excalibur. Who knows absolutely nothing about redstone? Wonderful me. All right, let me get rid You're of this. You're always supposed to stand over the redstone when someone's building. Good luck. Must lift. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so let me get that redstone again. What we're going to do is we're going to run this here like so, which will go into this top block like that, which has a torch on it. Now that should have both of them closed. If you flip the switch, they both open. Excellent, excellent. Now the only thing is getting out. Uh, we're going to put a switch over here as well so that we have an easy way to get back out if necessary. Ha! 
How did you know? All right. Well, that's not going to do it. I have to figure out how to do OR gates so I can uh, turn that on and off. All right. So uh, what we have here now is a way to get down into our dungeon. So we'll go down here. No, I just need the tunnel down. Yep, we just need a tunnel down. Maybe we can go ahead and uh, uh, do a, a spiral staircase all the way down. And I'll let you do that. Force of habit. Um, I'm not going to let you out until you, you get done. <laughs> oh, my. No, I just kidding, just kidding. So. Why did you cook blocks awesome there? To make an iron trench. There you go. So I don't keep running out of iron. Oh, an iron trench would be fine. All right. So what we should do is uh, get that maintenance um, shaft built so that we can go on and uh, take a look at what's going on. And I'm going to go ahead and enchant my iron pick while I'm here. Get to level thirty. Well, I've got 23 levels. So, uh, I'll go for like a 19 or 20 if they have it. Oh, and I just went by a 19. <laughs> 21's good for Silk Dutch. Yeah. I'm seeing how high of a level I can get just off the current system. Alright. Okay... One more time. Now. I'll take whatever came up. Unbreaking 2 efficiency 2. That's better than nothing. Alright. Here we go. Uh, why the cobblestone here? I don't even know. It was there naturally. Uh, no, this is this is the dungeon right here. I thought it was until I dug out all the cobblestone and nothing was there. Oh, okay. Oh snap, what's uh I thought lava. Yep, I'm making sure that lava falls down on your face. No, I'm I'm lighting the way. I have a feeling that this is not the way to go. Alright, so let me let me get our uh, bearings straight so I can see exactly which direction the tu the uh, dungeon's in. Because uh, you did a classic design here with uh, the drop on the opposite end of the dungeon. I think we didn't get the dungeon. Like, I think we missed it. Okay, so we're going to be looking east. We're going down about here. And I don't have a shovel. I found it. You did? Yeah, it's right here. Alright, so we were pretty off, pretty much. Um, right, here's that. Nah. Okay, we'll throw a torch there. Now, this is... Ah, I've run out of inventory space. This is the top of the dungeon. And, uh... We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dig out along the entire outside of it. If you want to move over, there's the caves right there. I did a little stairs on. Hey, go down there. Meh. Okay. No, I'm talking to that baby zombie. I'll, I'll throw him a lever. Alright, so we need to close this off. And that's how far down? Um, Looks like five blocks. Five blocks. Alright, so I say... Uh, we don't want to run into the shaft over there. Why don't we go ahead and tunnel around to the back side? Alright. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five this way. Which way? 
five this way. All right. And uh, I'll go ahead and put cobble back up over this hole. We want it to be as dark as possible, of course. And then uh, once we get there, we're going to dig a stairway, a stairway down. I think I calculated right. Because once we get down five blocks, we should be able to see the water right there. Yep. Yeah. There's some water. The water is one level up? Yes. Okay, so uh, I think that's our floor level. And this right here is the floor level, yeah. Yep, so we're going to dig around that. And what we're going to do is uh, get rid of any tunnels within 17 blocks um, of... Uh, the center of our uh, spawner. Yeah, my inventory is full, so you're going to have to forge ahead. That, and I'm a coward. <laughs> if you have any oh. wood, I can make a shovel. Well, I, I've got the wood. Alright, uh, I'm going to craft a bench. We can make shovel. Alright, so this is actually the floor level right here. We're still one down. There we go. Do, 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 do. Caving with Kings and Caliber. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. Little song just jumped in my head. Got a crafting bench? Um, not on me. I left it upstairs. I could make one, but the question is why should I? Cause there's gravel. All right, so this is the this is the back wall right here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead. Is this a uh, standard? You're like how many blocks away from the spawner here? Nine by nine, and the spawner's right in the middle. Or nine by eight. So nine wide, eight deep. Uh, I'll count. One, two, three, four. That's the. It's nine wide right there. The water should be flowing the eight. One, two, three, four. Six, so, yeah. Seven, eight. Yeah, it's eight and then a nine, ten. I did a double wide to make the double wide water flow. I think one of the problems is also this. If you come down here, this little setup right here. The mobs seem to not like it very much. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and light it up so we can work in there. Do, 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 do. There we go. Kill these guys off because I'm tired of dealing with them. All right. Um, I'll block the water for right oh. there. Thank you. And we just got a spawn. This just seems to not be working very well. The water is supposed to push them and have them go up here, but then they'll tend to go like they'll try to nudge this way. Yeah, that's that's an issue with uh using the step method now. Also, if you uh, put a torch right here, nothing can spawn. Look, right against the wall right there. Where? Right there. In the corner. No, 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 no on this wall. There. And uh, I'll also put torch there. Alright, so, let's see here. Wow. Um, I got a little. So mess this goes mess. here. We don't really need that to be so, so deep. I got messed up with my dimensions, so I just. Oh, that's no problem. That's no problem. Let's go ahead and throw up a ladder here and here. And. Uh, this is my cave system for mobs to spawn in. 
Occasionally get a spider, which I don't like. But I added stairs so mobs get easier and don't get stuck. Yeah, um, we don't want... If, if you want it to be efficient, you can't have any mobs show up at all. So we've got to light up this entire cave system and any other cave systems in the area. Alright. Do to do. Um, tell you what. This isn't a very big cave. There you it go. Right there. Right behind you. Yep. And yeah. All right. So, at least this cave is all filled up. I think mobs can spawn right here. Right where? On this one block. Hey, F three. What's the B I'll say? Uh, eight. Nope. They can only spawn on seven or less. Oh, I thought it was eight or less. Black light. Oh, no. we got gold up here. Mind if I snag it? Sure. Um, one of the first things that I like to do is build myself a clock, and I'm halfway there. If you need any gold, I got blocks of them. Why, well, thank you. That might be in your reward for helping me. That's all right. That's all right. So, uh, what we have here now is uh, we need to. I guess uh, it's pointless if there's no. Well, you don't have to cover that up. Uh, zombies aren't going to spawn there, but we can go ahead and do it. That's fine. Um. Why did I bring a diamond with me? <laughs> it's okay. I don't know. Obviously. So what we're going to do is, uh, first off, we're going to break these two blocks here. And these two blocks here. We're going to fill in all that, and we're going to put the water right where the, the two where these blocks are right here that I broke. So do you have two buckets on you? Oh, I do not, but there's iron right there, four buckets. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, take these... And if you make a crafting bench, take these I... blocks. Or did I pick them up again? Yeah, I picked them up again. Where'd you at? Um. Oh, you're you, right up there. If you make a crafting bench, I can smelt this iron right here. Oh, no, I've actually got two buckets on me. Alrighty. I came preppered. So here's uh, the stone blocks. I'll go get this water. One time I just want to, like, fill this, like, make it, like, pretty. You're throwing stuff, man. What's that? I said you're throwing stuff. Um, here, take this redstone, too, please. And I need my, I got my bucket. Good. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and do this, get rid of those. We don't need that water there. Up oh, and we'll kill this and this and this and this. What? 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 You, oh, you took the letters down. Okay, gotcha. Right. Uh, thank you. I thought the bat hit me for a minute there. That should be implemented in the game. Bat should be able to do like half hard damage to you. Okay, so if I'm correct, we break this here. The water goes right to the edge, right? Yeah. Oh, why am I so bad? I'm feeling bad. Alright, so we'll go ahead and leave this at the two wide. That's no problem. I was going to make it one wide, but two should be more than enough. Now, when we come over here, you've got your standard mob evader. Where'd you and go? Right here, zombies. I'm just yeah, swimming up the mob evader. Space, so it took me a long time and a lot of headaches to do this 2x2. Two two. Okay, and then you drop down over there. I don't want to drop down. <laughs> yeah, this should, this should be this fine. I think they're despawning on the way up because if one of the, if it's like a block wrong difference, then these things will despawn. Uh, only if they go 64. 64 blocks away? Yeah, 64 to 128. 64, they have a 
greater chance of despawning. 128, they will immediately despawn. I know, uh, I know 15 blocks away from the spawner, that won't spawn. Uh, it's so, 17 from the spawner. 17? Alright, so my base is 15 blocks, but this goes 23 blocks up from Yeah, 23 spawner. is fine, yeah. So what we need to do is we need to force um, the mobs to uh, come in here. So we'll go like this, and we'll grab that other water bucket. We'll get the water in here. There we go. Now it should push them. And this is the problem here. We need to push them directly into the water flow so that they start swimming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, this isn't getting them far enough. So let's try putting... And I killed one of the water sources. That's okay. You don't need I'll to only bring it up that. one closer. That's why I had to do that thing. So if we do it like this, that still doesn't get them far enough. Um, <sighs> the, way, the way that was, water was flowing on top of this block. So if they landed on here, they'd go like this, but it also counted as the water right here. So let's... Let's go ahead and pop one here. I'll go ahead and leave those there. All right. And we'll pop another here. And it should now push them. So let's see here. Help, I'm a zombie. I'm being pushed. And I'll be pushed right here. I'm in the water. I go up. But they yep. won't go up those stairs. Um, or when there's a lot of them, they won't. Like four or more spawned at one time, they won't go up those stairs. So we're going to increase the water flow there. And uh, you're making me sad, dude. Here, have some fish. Um, oh, you got salmon. You're fancy. Yes, I'm fancy. Hotels, are you shopping at? I did a lot of fishing. <laughs> so we're going to break these and see what happens with the water flow at the end. Because this is where we have to pay attention. Because... Stuff like this is going to cause the issue. So, say we spawn here. Ooh, zombie. Arr, arr, I'm being pushed around. I don't like being pushed around. Well, in the arr, end, we're still always going to go there. I'm drowning. I must swim up. Okay, so uh, they're going to be pushed. They're going to want to get to us. So, as long as... Ah, oh, this is a strong current here. Uh, so... As, so long as they're being pushed this way, that's perfectly fine. We don't have to worry too much about it there. We need it to be dark. Um, where did we come in at? Up here? We came in right there. Lower the gravel. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and close this in. I wonder right about. <laughs> All right, let's break the torches all along the tops and sides here. Uh, not not on spawner yet. Uh, We're gonna get the walls first. And also keep in mind when you have stairs upside down like you have over here. Oh, well, that's a weird effect. I found a glitch in the the water system. I have stairs um, upside down somewhere. The upside down stair right here. is going to let light in all the stairs well so we make it so that there's no light at all come all right. to uh, uh stairs are transparent block so with transparency it's going to let the light in so lava is your best bet if you put lava in no one will spawn ever where's the other light coming from is it on Great. the other side uh, there we go uh, it's way darker than it used to be. Alright, and then we're gonna... Boom, and boom. There we go. I'm gonna make sure there's a light down here. And we're gonna head on up and see if the, the rates increase. Now, so one of the other things are... We've gone to 25. Um, how high up are we when we're at the... Um, spawn... At the uh, monster killer... 
15 blocks. 15 blocks? That's an issue right there, too. Um, we actually have to be nine blocks away from the spawner. For mobs to come up. And if, like, I just made a little room where you got to wait for the things to spawn, is that a problem? Um, so, what, 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 let's, uh, talk about the, uh, the mechanics here. Like, if I just, if I tunnel down, like, nine blocks away, and then I just, uh, made an AFK pool? Yeah, if you made an AFK, um, nine blocks away, uh, the spawn rates are going to dramatically increase. Okay. Um, with so. a, with a mob spawner, um, on the horizontal plane, like, where we are, uh, kings? Yes. Um, on the horizontal plane, uh, we'll call it the X and Z axis, because that's, uh, the coordinates we use all the time. Um. Would it matter if it was eight blocks away? If it's eight blocks, that's fine. You're within the nine block radius. Okay, because I just want to make it, like, make sure that I didn't count wrong. I am so glad that my phone just beeped, because I have to plug it in. Well, when you're nine or shorter blocks in the vertical axis that's up and down uh, the spawner is going to go completely crazy and create lots of zombies when you're within 17 of uh, the spawner on the X and Z axis uh, you're gonna activate the spawner so where we are now we're at um, Y is 34 going down to where the spawner is excuse me uh, burping. The spawner is even farther down than I thought. Yeah, so the spawner is actually at 19. So we're, uh, well, actually a little bit higher than 19, but uh, it's 18. 34 and 18. Yeah, uh, math. Uh, 16 blocks away. So that's why the spawn rate is so low. And why you're only seeing 20. 